Thank you for tuning in. I realize it's been a while since my last update. I apologize. I've just been heads down with work and then spending a lot of time with the latest uh, DJI SDK. And in this video, I want to share a couple updates uh, regarding apps that I've been working on. And first, I want to talk about drone repeat. The number one requested feature for drone repeat is the ability to uh, export your shots uh, so they can be used on another device or maybe you want to do a backup. So I want to demonstrate this feature and how it works. This is a screen of a few of my shots. There's one down here and then there are three. As I zoom in, you can see them here. And if I tap them, it gives you your shot information. Let me demonstrate how you would actually export these. I tap the menu button and then hit export repeats. And so that'll give me the option to maybe email the file to me, airdrop it, I'll do an airdrop test here in just a second. But what I do wanna mention is the format is a, a CSV format. So it is feasible that you could uh, modify the repeats or add your additional ones uh, through a text editor and then load them onto your device. People definitely wanna be able to back these up or replicate these over to another device. Here you can see uh, Dennis's iPad, which is this guy I'm gonna airdrop the repeats over there. You can see that it says four repeats were successfully imported. Now let me go over to map view and you can see the three there uh, down here in Austin somewhere. The shot that I've been taking, I've been doing this shot uh, every day for the past year and in an upcoming video I'm going to uh, do a time lapse and I'll share that with you guys. The next update that I have is related to drone maps. Probably the number one feature requested is uh, the ability to uh, zoom in on the sectionals a little further. For those of you that aren't aware, previously uh, the sectional charts, see I have my iPhone 10 here and I haven't really made this uh, fully compatible. And as a side note, I walked into the AT&T store thinking that I was going to uh, switch to Android. Given that Apple has all of my data in their cloud, I just uh, couldn't get around to it. So of course I went iPhone 10 and it's good to know because you can see over here, the sensor bar sort of gets in the way. So I need to make that compatible, but uh, that's just a side note. Let me just zoom in. And I believe in the current version, I allowed up to zoom level 11 and you can see that I can get quite a bit further here now. This probably will disappear at some point. Okay, so right here. So definitely in my mind, a, a substantial improvement. And just for you data geeks out there, I will mention that uh, the amount of data previously to get to zoom level 11, I believe was 13 gigabytes. And to go to zoom level 12, now all of these tiles across the U US for about almost 60 gigabytes. So I believe as you go through zoom levels and as you're tiling, there's a, a multiplier of four uh, for each level. So, you know, going from 13 to, to 60 or almost 60 is almost four times as much. So I don't know if we'll ever get to go beyond uh, 12 to 13. Uh, this hopefully should be sufficient. Uh, for those of you that are using it in the next update, I will add the ability to uh, adjust the tra transparency so that you can see the layer underneath. That's definitely been a highly requested feature. Last but not least, I wanna share this update as it relates to drone blocks. Uh, DJI has sent me this uh, Tello. Uh, it does have a little SDK, which is much different than the standard SDK for uh, the Phantom, Mavic Pro, Inspire One, all of the um, higher end DJI drones. But the Tello is a cool little, I'll just call it a, a toy drone, but there are some really cool SDK things that we can do with it. So drone blocks uh, should be compatible. I just wanted to give you guys an update uh, of what I've been working on for the past few weeks and uh, definitely a lot of feedback from the community and these suggestions have been very helpful. I really appreciate that. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.